Now, over the years, I've had the privilege of driving an array of really prestigious cars, many of them smooth and silent, many of them sounding and smelling just as refined as they appear. However, the car industry is changing, and I can say, hand on heart, that for those who love driving, the twists and turns ahead can be just as thrilling in an electric car. The bottom line is that at the top end, things are getting genuinely exciting. Today, we're talking to ERS, the specialist motor insurer, as to why the switch to prestige electric vehicles is an opportunity to be embraced. Regional prestige underwriter and self-confessed supercar fanatic Sam Prever joins us to talk about the growing market of EV supercars. So hello, Sam, and welcome. Now, tell me, what does your team at ERS actually do day to day? So we're a team of 15, 20 people uh, across underwriting, claims, operations, um, and we're looking to work with specialist UK motor brokers to um, you know, bring, bring, our, bring our electric vehicle proposition further to market. Um, our minimum vehicle value for that will be £100,000, uh, and we're looking to insure vehicles similar to the one sitting behind me now. Um, what's quite interesting actually is that we've, uh, we've seen quite a large increase in the amount of electric vehicles that we're seeing come through the door now. So um, we're sort of, sort of 10%, 15% now of our book is electric vehicles, which is a, a large amount of growth in the last couple of years since they've come to market. Right. And now the, the, the UK government proposition of, of banning the sale of new combustion engines in 2030 is clearly going to have a fairly big impact on the market. I mean, how do you see that panning out? It's going to be incredible, to be honest. I mean, your typical client that would perhaps be, uh, you know, be purchasing a vehicle, purchasing a prestige vehicle that we would insure, is is perhaps not the same type of client that would usually be buying a, a, an electric vehicle. But it's definitely changed. I mean, there's there's a there's a lot of different factors that come into play. So you've got um, you know, you've got the perfor the performance of these electric vehicles. You've got the tax benefits of company directors looking to to purchase these kind of vehicles. Um, and of course, you've got the, the the economy that comes with it as well. Whether that be you know, it's good for the environment or um, you know, you've got good good fuel economy as well. So there's a, there's a lot of benefits and we're definitely seeing a shift in the type of clients that, are, that, that would perhaps you know, either buy these vehicles or the, or the vehicles that the type of clients we insure uh, are purchasing. So in 2030, you know, buying a, a, a new a high-end prestige sports car or, you know, or a supercar is no longer an option. So how do you see that affecting the market? There's going to be a lot of changes to the market and I think the general client that we would insure in prestige, as we, you know, our department's called, um, is, go is going to change. And also the types of cars that those clients that we already hold are, is going to change. So for us, it's important that we keep up with the demands and needs of our, of, you know, of the, of, of our clients within the changing market. Um, you know, one of the things that we've done to, to keep on top of this is um, we've already got some, some features and benefits built into our policy wording. So uh, for example, charging cable cover, uh, charging cable liability. So if, the, uh, if somebody trips over the, the wire, for example, we cover that. Uh, lease battery cover, so if a client uh, were to lease a battery for a leasing company alongside the vehicle, we can cover that as well. Um, in addition to that, we've got a, a nationwide repair network that specialises in, in electric vehicles. We've also got a, a motor breakdown product available that covers electric vehicles as well. So some of the brands that we associate with these sectors like Jaguar, Aston Martin, Bentley, you know, they're keeping their electric plans fairly quiet at the moment. How do you see that panning out? It's quite interesting, actually, because um, you know, for all the bits and pieces I've read, the, the, all of these car brands are going to be starting to make electric vehicles from sort of 2025 onwards. Right. Um, Jaguar are actually going fully electric from 2025, which is quite interesting. Um, another point that I read was that Ferrari said that they'll make, start making electric cars around about that time, but they'll never go fully EV. So perhaps we'll still be seeing some, uh, some supercars on our roads. Oh, I, think, I think we definitely will, without any question. But, I mean, it is interesting that the the really the very high-end brands. For instance, I have actually driven a Rolls-Royce, but it was 100% electric. It was a one-off. They've made wow. one. It was amazing, <laughs> but they only ever made one. And now whether they've actually got plans to really start producing them, because from the point of view of a Rolls-Royce, if you want a luxurious, quiet car, it was the perfect thing. Amazing. That makes total yeah. sense. I mean, we're starting to see more and more vehicles come in into our, onto our books now that are electric vehicles. So um, we, we've got we've got quite quite, quite a lot of Porsche Taycans, right. quite a lot of Teslas. Um, we're seeing a couple of Mercedes EQCs. Um, there's a sort of you, you're seeing more and more come through now, and, and it's definitely as I say the, the, the type of client that, that that drives these vehicles is changing. The type of clients that we're seeing come through on our products is changing. So the, the world is changing. I think clearly the manufacturers have got their plans in place. So Sam, from our experience, uh, you know, electric vehicles offer sort of innovation and breakthroughs in technology that combustion cars just can't really match. I mean, what are the things that really excite you about the sector? Performance has got to be the first one for me, I think, really. I mean, you've got, uh, 
I'll take the Porsche Taycan Turbo S for example, that does 0 to 60 in 2.4 seconds, which is ridiculous. Uh, but then you could, you compare that to the Panamera Turbo S, which is again equally as amazing, but it's half a second slower than 0 to 60 at 2.9. So I think the performance is the first thing that stands out. But you've got loads of different changes in tech, and I think really electric vehicles are, are, are the you know, pioneering. They're right, they're right at the front of this. So you've got, for example, the Tesla Model X that does that dancing trick, which is utterly ridiculous, but I think it just shows the fun side of, of what electric vehicles do. So uh, can you tell me more about the, the type of people that are now buying prestige EVs? I mean, is, has there been a kind of demographic shift with, with, the, with the advent of electric vehicles? We've got our existing clientele who have got you know, single vehicles or collections of vehicles that are um, sort of going in the direction of electrics. They might be cha changing their vehicle over or um, adding an electric vehicle into their collection. So um, that's, that's, that's the most common thing we see at the moment. You've got a, a you know, big variation of types of the clients. So you've got the people that really love their technology. They're going towards that, you know, that side of things. You've got the petrol heads who really like the performance side of things. So it might be the, you know, the speed or the, the handling of certain, certain vehicles. Um, and then you've also got the clients in the sports entertainment industry, which is one of our products. Um, and they're, they're sort of adopting the, 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 green, the green look, you know, they want to be seen to be um, you know, good to the environment and, 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 and all, things, all things good for their image. So um, lots of different kinds of clients that we ensure at the moment that are, that are doing different things. I can see that, you know, if you're a very well-known person and you're, you're seen arriving at a film premiere in an, in an old diesel, it's not a good look. <laughs> you now want to be in a, a very flash electric car. Absolutely, and that's, that's one of the trends we're seeing at the moment. So can you tell us more about what ERS do in this area and how you set, how the business sets itself apart? We've got our expert prestige team across claims, underwriting and operations. Something we're also really proud of is that we're an A-plus rated insurer, which means that essentially we're backed by Lloyds of London, uh, we've got an A-plus credit rating. Um, in addition to that, we pride ourselves in working with specialist insurance brokers who understand our clients' demands and needs. Underpinning that, we've got the, uh, our, our breakdown proposition to market, and we've got all the additions to our policy wording which are pertinent to our electric, to electric vehicles and, and what they do. Thank you so much, Sam, for your perspective on all this. Thank you.